New Mexico State coming in at four and three. Uh, UTEP coming in at two and five in this rivalry game. Bowl game potentially up for grabs for the winner of this one. NMSU will still need three wins, including tonight, to get one. UTEP needs uh, four wins for a bowl game. But you can out record the record, Sam, when this rivalry is on the field. We've had blowouts, we've had overtime thrillers, and everything in between. Yeah, and the Battle of I-10 is a unique one because it's been 62 years. This rivalry has gone 62 years with these teams being separated from each other as far as conference plays go. But in 2023, they're both in the conference now, Conference USA. So not only are the bragging rights on the line, not only are the traveling trophies on the line, but now Conference USA supremacy is on the line. So we're talking championship uh, league titles and bowl games. So uh, the stakes got a lot higher this year with yeah, this rivalry. No doubt about that. They are already really high. UTEP has won the last two games in this rivalry series, trying to make it three, but NMSU comes in as a three-point favorite. Let's take a look back at some of the fantastic moments and hear from some of the key players over the years in the 100-year history of the Flyers. It's sequestered off into a little corner by the border, but when UTEP and New Mexico State get together, there's never any love lost. I think it's one of the best kept secrets in all of intercollegiate athletics. 99 times since 1914, the Aggies and Miners have met. NMSU won the first two meetings. UTEP has won the last two. In between, the series is swayed back and forth across the Texas-New Mexico state line. You run into those guys, you see those guys, uh, so it makes it a little bit more special because there's a little bit more bragging rights there. With UTEP leading 21 to nothing in the second quarter, former minor, Ebok Ebok streak the field. Geography has always tied them together, just 45 minutes apart. The game simply makes sense. Your neighborhood down the street, you know, you, you can see them from a distance, but you can't see them essentially. And I think it's not just a rivalry amongst the schools, but a rivalry amongst the cities as well. The Battle of I-10 is one of, if not the only, college rivalry game with not one but two traveling trophies, the Silver Spade and the Mayor's Cup. The rivalry's importance is instilled in new players immediately. I was at the post office one day trying to pick up a package, and one of the UTEP fans came up to me and was like, oh, you play for UTEP? And I'm like, yeah. They were like, we just want you to beat and miss you. <laughs> That's all you want. The community of Las Cruces is kind of show that this is something that matters to them. And so I feel like it's our job as the New Mexico State football team to really um, take pride in this game and go out there and handle business. For former players turned coaches like Tony Sanchez and Justin Garrett, the edge never goes away. I was gone for a long time. And anytime that game happened, I always tuned in, I always paid attention, I always wanted to know what was happening. And it was always a big deal. It's a must win game. Every game is a must win, but this one is a bad, 365 days if you don't win. In an era of college sports where conference realignment has killed traditional rivalries, the Battle of I-10 survived the last 62 years of the Aggies and Miners being in separate leagues. They're both in Conference USA this year, and for the first time since 1961, there's more on the line than just bragging rights. It couldn't line up more perfectly, I think, it being Conference USA game, 100th rivalry game between the two schools, uh, both schools coming off of a win. At this point, I, I think the fans would, would probably boycott the two programs if, if they didn't play on a on an annual basis. It's just a special, special game and a special, special week. There's been dozens of fantastic games in the series. 1998, 2006, and 2015 all come to mind. Down the line, the 100th edition tonight could find its place among the great games in a battle of I-10 series full of them. Yeah, this rivalry is so often sequestered down here in the border, Sam, where really only people in El Paso and Las Cruces maybe know about it. Not the case this year, year as we're going to step out so we can kind of give people a look at what's going on. Not the case this year. This game televised on ESPN2 tonight. So this game will get the true national feel that it deserves. Yeah, I mean, this Conference USA and UTV deal, it's going to do UTEP and New Mexico State tons uh, this year, and it's going to be exciting. And no better matchup to have on a Wednesday night here between UTV UTEP and New Mexico State. So we've got a loaded show. We're talking about the key matchups, keys to victories, and uh, everything else. So make sure to uh, stick around, guys. But for now, we'll send things back to you, uh, Andy and Natasha.